and if you are thinking of a summer holiday it will come around fast and it does take a good 12 weeks in the gym to really really notice like a visible difference if there is a time to be motivated after Christmas and you're getting a lull now now is the time for the summer. Do keep a good clean diet. Like I'm a big Mother Nature's fan for diet. If it grows in the ground, if it runs in the wild, it's that type of food values that are so much more valuable for you to recover and train harder than it is processed foods out of a packet. Just salt, sugar, nutritional value of cardboard. If you're training, there's absolutely no point in training if you're going to do that. If you've trained, you can take your carbohydrates. You've created a dry sponge. If you haven't trained, and you've took loads of carbs, etc., and loads of food and all for the day, if you can imagine pouring water onto a wet sponge, it's going to run through. Good healthy dinner, for example, would always be, again, I like my Mother Nature's type kind of carbohydrates, i.e. your brown rice, your whole wheat pasta, your sweet potato. Then obviously on your proteins, you have your chicken, turkey, um, you have your red meats, you have your eggs. Always, always, always some source of fibre, like a, a green veg or some form of vegetables on your plate. Supplements are supplementation to food. So you can train all day long and you'll see the guys and the girls in the gym who have been there long before you who have never changed an ounce. And you'll see the guys and the girls in the gym who are in outstanding shape. And the thing is, they are more dedicated to food and for supplementation. As far as food goes, some people just don't know enough and don't do enough, which is why they don't get their gains and their goals. If you're in a gym training and you're not eating and supplementing your diet 100% correct, you're not going to get where you want to be.